You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a Domino's Pizza Make and Bake Pizza Oven. And this is a light bulb oven, just like the last oven. It takes a 100 watt light bulb. It says real oven with complete baking accessories. It includes oven, metal baking sheet, pizza mix, pizza sauce, paddle, pan inserter instructions, and recipe book. Now, I don't have the original recipes. So I'm going to have to go off the beaten path and make my own pizza like I did in the last video, but I'm going to do something even a little different than that. So let me just uh, flip it around here because each side has a different picture and also in English and French it looks like. Make and bake pizza oven. Now you see both kids there, both happy, both have a white apron on. They're mixes and they're just going at it. They're making pizzas. And then here's the other one, which at least I think that's French. La Le Four à Pizza. If Butch were here, he would be able to help me with that. So that's really it. Of course, you know what's next. I gotta get this out of the box. So let me get it out of the box, show you all the pieces, and we'll get going. All right, here we go. This is everything that comes with this oven. You have this pan grabber. You have a pan pusher. And then you have a flat pizza sheet, okay, not a pan. These are the coupons that were in there. And I was looking at them saying, wow, there's no date. I wonder if I can go redeem for one free pizza topping on any large pizza. Hmm, do you think it's still good? I wonder. And then uh, this is a Domino's Pizza Oven Cookbook. Now, there's really not much in here in regards to cookbook and everything's double so you get it in English and I believe French yeah just like the other book here so that you can get you can make a sausage pizza a meatball pizza it's not really giving you dough oh here it is well this is the dry mix dough so I'm not going to do that I'm going to bring in something completely different that I've never used before but that's the cookbook now they do say to practice and yes it actually says you need to practice this as shown Practice use of spatula and pan inserter with oven off until you feel confident in its use. So as you can see, one hand is grabbing, the other hand is pushing the pizza in. So it's this concept. Let's get in here. Now as you can see now, there is nothing stopping this front of this oven. It's wide open. So now, it's probably the first oven so far out of all the ovens we could actually just watch the pizza or watch the item bake so let me just tilt this up there's not much more to the back and the front and none of these dials do anything they don't turn they're all for show so it looks like you've got minutes timer here two timers they repeat themselves it looks like they want you to do this then come in with this and push it in like that so that you get your pizza in now let's take a look back there and see what we got way in there so the pizza pan is in the oven. Ooh, actually did the, no, it's still there. It's just sitting, it's covering the light. Now let's get it out. I guess you would just slide this in. And there, right up. Okay, so now I have practiced. I think I'm qualified. Let me get all the ingredients and we'll get started making pizza. All right, I am back, I am ready to go. I've got my cutting board down. The oven is warming up. I have two crusts, so this is what I decided. I'm gonna try not both. I'm going to do the Pillsbury pizza crust because that one pizza crust makes a 12 inch pizza so I can just take it, open it, and cut out the size I need for my mini pizza. So I want to give those a try. This was just here to show you they have classic and other kinds of crusts. Even a maybe, I think it's a gluten free and a wheat crust. So I don't move that out of the way. I don't need that. And then all my ingredients just said. I've got, uh, what I'm going to make for you is a cheese pizza and a meat lovers pizza. Yes, I'm going to make my favorite pizza. So I have Italian sausage, pepperoni, and then I have some of this Oscar Mayer fully cooked bacon. So that's going to go on my meat lovers. And for those of you that don't like meat, I am just going to make a regular cheese pizza and see how it works in this oven. So what I need to do now is actually just get the pizza crust ready. Have you used these? These are really cool. I remember doing the croissants and other Pillsbury just seeing them open. So you pull the paper and then basically what I used to do as a kid, I would just bust it on the edge of the countertop. Okay, now I don't need that. And then I would just hit it. Get ready for a large, uh, loud sound. There. Now once you did that, 
it would open and there is your pizza crust. So let me get that out. I don't need all of it. Now, I've never used this pizza crust. I have used the, you know, the croissant or their other dough. So look at that. That's a nice big pizza. Okay, so I only need a little bit of this. I'll just take off a corner. Say this, I'll just rip this off. And it's thin crust, remember? So now I have one. And then I'll take off a second. And I'm going to fold this back up. Because I don't need it. And I'll put it sort of back into my little tube. Set that off to the side. Alright, so here's my little crust. I'm just going to reshape it, see if it's still too big. Alright, that looks good. Okay. Now it does, did say to pre-bake your crust for five minutes, so I'm going to get one set here. Need to get a little oil in here. And I'll just put a little bit on my pan. Okay. And I'll stretch out a nice, what I think will be a thin crust. Now I'm going to go with the square shape. I don't have to go round. Stretching. Make it as thin as possible. Okay. And set it on my pan. Kind of help it along a little bit more. A little oil on the top. I'm going to go back to what I normally would do with a pizza. And that is my little, little garlic powder on the crust. I like a little onion flavoring. Okay, sometimes I even put a little salt. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. See how it works. So I'm gonna preset it now. Do this for five minutes. Robin's been on for a good 15 minutes. Nice, I don't have to change much. I can just work like this. Okay. I'm gonna let that go for five minutes. I'll set my timer. And when that goes off, uh, well, actually, I'll just let the camera go in there. I don't know. Sometimes I use the bonus footage, sometimes I don't, but I'll see if I can get a shot in there. And just uh, let the camera go. For five minutes. But you might not see all five minutes. Alright, checking in, it looks like it has risen just a little bit. So my five minutes is almost up. After five, what I'll do is I'll pull it out and uh, start uh, making my pizza. Alright, not much longer, about ten seconds, but I wanted to open up my can of sauce. Get that done for you. There's my timer. Stop. Put a little bit of this Dal Alp we got for pizza sauce this time. Not the Chef Boyardee, just so I have it ready in a bowl. Looks really nice and chunky. That's more than enough for what we're doing. Okay, so now I should be able to just pull this pizza out. It's kind of nice. I don't have to do any readjusting, moving. Okay, so that is my first crust. Take a look at it. Looks like it's doing nice. Let me see if it is sticking. It's not sticking. So we're going to make this one the cheese right away. The first one is the cheese. Nice amount. I think I'll probably go even thinner on the crust. See how it puffed up? I want it just a little bit thinner. This will probably be one of the easiest ovens I think ever. Just because no doors to open and close. You can watch it as it bakes. It's a very soft mozzarella. Oh, look at that. I don't know. What do you think? Is that enough cheese for you? You know, you could put a little salt on top, a little pepper, a little bit more of your seasoning, a little oregano, whatever you like. You're making your own pizza, right? 
get all those chunks off. Okay, so this one's going to go back in the oven. I wonder if I can preset my meat lovers and get that ready to go in, but not if you have to do the crust. All right, so remember now, the oven didn't say to pre-cook the crust. The crust company said to do that. So now, should be good height-wise. Yes, it's just going to make it. Let me push that down. Okay. And that is now in the oven. You missed it, but I think you understand. So now I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. Or was it 15? I'm going to do 15 like the last oven. And then check it after 15 minutes. So I'll be back. All right, so that's inside the oven. Here, let me let a little more light in there. I think the cheese is already starting to melt. It's been about four minutes, so it is nice that I can see inside. Now, not enough light for you to get a full look. Maybe the next time I will try and bring in some more light, but there you go. We'll keep checking back. All right, have some time to do a little prep. The pizza is still baking in the oven. We're about, uh, let's see, I gotta check my phone. Here we go, I will check my phone. I set it for 15 minutes, and there is eight minutes left. So I wanted to get the pepperoni ready, so I would thought Instead of doing the little circles, I would just cut strips. So that's what I'm going to do. These scissors were just cleaned, washed, so I have them nice and ready. Scissors are great in the kitchen. Of course, I'm not going to need this much pepperoni, but I might as well just cut what I have in my hand. There, now I can put little strips. And then the bacon. I could probably easily eat all that bacon, but... So the first one is a cheese. This one is going to be meat. Now, if you notice, I have my dough kind of off to the side. I'm stretching this one slowly to kind of make it as thin as possible. I'll just cut the rest of this bacon. I know I'm not going to use it. Maybe later I'll use it. Probably happen now is I'll just make pizza with all that dough. I don't want it to go to waste. So it will all get eaten. Okay, so I'll put some meat on there. Now some people put their ingredients under the cheese so I think for visually you want it on top so you can see it underneath you don't really see it plus on top it does cook a little bit more so my meat is ready. That was a whole minute now to get my stuff ready. Let me see if I can zoom in there for you. See if there's any difference. Hard to tell. Not enough white is there because now the pan is covering the light all right, well, let me check to see if I can get a light in there for you and we can look at it a little bit better. I have two minutes, but I thought I could at least just check it. It's easy just to see what the pizza's doing by pulling it out and putting it back in. Nice. So that's how I'm going to check it. Remember now, you can push in with this. All right, so it looks like it does need another five minutes or so to start browning on the top. So we'll check back. All right, it's been the full 20 minutes now. So let's get it out and take a look. Look at that. I don't think brown is, will it get any more brown than that on the top? Probably not, the way this oven heats. So let me just move this here and see if I can just get the whole pizza off easily, which I can. Very nice. Let's just give it a quick tip. Bottom looks nice. Bottom is brown. And then that's still hot, but I want to get a little oil on the top. It's not too hot, actually. And then let me get this crust on here. And I made this one super thin and bigger to see if it stretches to a bigger pizza. There, I'm doing the whole thing just like that. We'll see what happens now. So let's get this one in. Oh wait, let me give it a little olive oil on the top. Okay. Some of my seasoning. A little garlic powder. This is what I normally do with my crust, so give it a shot. You might like it. I usually always put a little salt on the bottom. I didn't do it the last video, mainly because I forgot, but here we go. Got the hang of it. Now let's come back down to this pizza, because I'm not going to wait to taste it, because I'd rather taste it when it's hot, right? Let me give it a cut, though. I'll cut it with my scissors. Nice and cheesy looking. Looks a little doughy, but the crust is definitely a nice dark brown. I cut it again. 
let's hear it. Let's see. As I bite it, now I'm going to bite it now, everybody. So if you're not into those kinds of sounds, just so you know, we'll see if we get any kind of crispiness with the crust. You get a little bit of the crispy crust, but it is very cheesy and good. Oh, it made me, it's making me sniffle. All right, so pizza number one, it's hard not to eat it. All right, I'm going to eat it. Sorry. It's my first thing today. It's good to go. So pizza number two, the meat lovers is next. Ooh. I'm going to wait till that uh, cooks for five minutes and then take it out and then we'll top it all up. Be right back. All right, here we go. The first five minutes is up. Let's pull this one out and take a look at it. Look at that. Nice. Definitely looks like a nicer, a little bit thinner, but definitely bigger pizza. So let's get the sauce on. Now this is going to be my meat pizza. Meat pizza, excuse me. I started drinking a soda in the back. I don't know if you saw it. It's the Strawberry Kiwi Breeze to wash down my pizza. And it's a green soda. And that gave me a little, oops. All right, now you could put more seasoning on it. Sometimes I add a little bit extra. Now I'm gonna do my cheese. This is right out of the fridge. It's very soft and fresh mozzarella. Sometimes it helps almost to re, uh, freeze your cheese when you're doing a lot of grating. Okay, I think that's good. Made little cheese nuggets. All right, so now, what do we say? Meat. Let's just keep this low. A little... Let's see what we got to work with. A couple pieces of sausage here and there. This is my meat pizza, remember? Okay, slide some pep on top. Might be a little too high still, so I'm going to have to keep pressing, make sure I get it in the oven. And don't forget the bacon. How's that looking? Probably a couple more pieces of sausage here and there. I pre-cooked the sausage, of course. The bacon was the pre-cooked Oscar Mayer. We saw that. And now, the bacon. Okay. How's that? Let's get this in here. Get this up here. And it still fits good, so we're good to go. And that's in the oven. No, it's not. No, you push it up. Okay. So I'll set the timer now. I'm going to give this one... A full 25 minutes and I might check it once in a while and we'll be right back all right so it's time to check the pizza it's been about 10 minutes so halfway through and I have to tell you it smells really good Ooh, look at that I'm gonna really enjoy this pizza so I will check back in another 10 minutes hate to see it go cuz I want to eat it I'll be right back all right, it's time to take out my meat lover's pizza, and I'm pretty excited about it, so here we go. I have to say, this oven's been working really good. Ooh, do you see bubbling on the top? That's a good sign. Now, this pizza is probably the best-looking pizza I've ever made in one of these ovens, yes. I'm giving myself a pat on the back, so let me see if I can get it off my tray, though. Ooh, look at that. Slides right off. I gotta zoom in on that pizza. Oh, let me make a quick adjustment here and I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so there you go. It's nice and close-up video of my pizza. It's very hard not to eat that thing right away. Look at it. I think it came out really good and it's a meat lover's, one of my favorites. So let me pan back out just a little bit because I need to pour a little more soda because I can't eat this without a little sip of soda after. And it's green. Hmm. I'm going to cut it with my scissors because that seems to be a, my only tool today. I couldn't find my pizza cutter. And this oven didn't come with the pizza cutter, so there's inside the pizza. How's that looking? Ooh, I'm just going to keep zooming in like 3D pizza eating. Let me cut this here. All right, so if you're not big on chewing sounds, this would be the time to adjust because I'm going to eat my meat lovers. Let's look at the bottom. 
nice and brown. Here we go. Mm, crispy on the edge. Ooh, that's good. The bacon, the pepperoni, and the sausage. So there you go. I'm going to say the best pizza so far. I use that Pillsbury pizza dough. This is the Domino's Pizza Make and Bake Pizza Oven. And thanks for watching. And by the way, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, look in the description. You will see a playlist. Or as always, search our channel. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.